Okay, I want to show in this video the two timers that we were going to use in the lab uh, for the for the logics controllers, control logics or compact logics. And that is the TON, which is the timer uh, on or on delay timer, and TOF, which is the off delay timer, timer off. And I want to show how the two behave because um, we were kind of experiencing some erratic behavior with a few and uh, just wanted to show kind of how these two timers go about working. So what I'll, first, before we show the logic and some of the simulation, I'm going to go to the controller tags. I want to show you that when we create a timer type uh, tag, it creates several, um, shall we say, uh, sub-tags, um, sort of an array in a way, but they have you know a few tags that belong to this timer type. So one is the PRE. Dot pre so that's the preset that's basically what is the value of the timer how long is it going to time for and remember in in logics controllers that time base is always milliseconds so we have to always add three zeros behind um, our number there for if, if we're trying to count something up in seconds um, the ACC tag stands for accumulator so that will show you the value of the timer as it's timing so basically how much time has elapsed since it began timing. The dot EN is simply enabled, meaning that the timer is enabled and, and working or, or has been enabled essentially. The dot TT stands for timer timing, which means that the timer is in the process of actually timing uh, out you know, up to its preset value. And the dot DN stands for done. So that's known as the done bit. And basically when the timer is done counting, when, when the accumulator reaches the, the preset value, then the done bit will energize. And I want to show how these, um, all these tags, or at least the, the EN, the TT, and the DN, how they behave when you, um, when you energize the, the, the timer. For both the on delay and off delay timer. So let's go back to the logic. So I've kind of pre-built some, some logic here. Um, here in the uh, lower corner is the factor IO scene that was used in the lab. Basically we're going to, you, there's a fill valve and a discharge valve. The fill valve was going to use the on delay timer for 10 seconds and the discharge valve was going to use the off delay timer for five seconds. That was the uh, that was the exercise in the lab. So for our on delay timer, basically uh, we we put the uh, the timer in the in the run, and we have to give it its name. We have to give the tag, and we'd already created a tag beforehand called fill timer of a type timer, and then I gave it a preset value of ten thousand, so that would be a ten second timer. And when I turn on the fill command. Um, or bit that will basically energize this timer. Then I've created a few rungs here just to show how these um, these bits work. So so there's a dot en will light up a the en uh, bit here. When the tt turns on, that'll turn this on, and when the done bit turns on, that'll turn that on. And then one more rung here, which is a little bit redundant, but this is basically uh, when the timer is timing. That is when the fill valve will, will be open. So we'll show this behaving in a second. Then I've done the exact same thing for the off delay timer. So the off delay timer is going to be tied to the discharge. So our off delay timer is called discharge timer. It's also a type uh, timer. And its preset value is set to 5000. And uh, we have the same thing here. We have the enable, the TT for timer timing the DN for timer done. And we're also using the TT to turn on the discharge valve or open the discharge valve when the timer is actually timing. Now notice the difference here that the accumulator is set to 5,000 right now and the, uh, the, time, and the preset is 5,000. Whereas in our on delay timer, our accumulator is zero and our preset is at 10,000. So that's a little bit of a difference there. All right, so let's watch how this how this works. So I have it in the in the in the ladder there. 
I also kind of created a, uh, a, a little uh, faceplate to kind of show how this behaves as well. So I'll have the, uh, the, the on delay timer. I got the indicators here for the enable, the timing, and the done. And I have a, uh, a value down here that will show you the preset. Or I'm sorry, the accumulator value. So it shows you where it's at in the count. Uh, this is the off delay timer. And you notice that it's 5,000. And that matches what was in the accumulator of the timer and the logic. So let's do the uh, on delay first. So what's going to happen is when I energize the timer, we're going to see two things happen. We're going to see the enable bit turn on and the timing bit turn on. And then after 10 seconds, the timing bit will turn off and the done bit will turn on, but the enable will stay on. So let's watch this happen. So we just turned on the timer. You can see the timer's timing there in the logic. We're filling the tank and there's our accumulator as well. The enable and the time, timer timing are both on. We reach 10,000 for 10 seconds. The enable has stayed on. The timing has dropped out and the done bit has energized. So we can use this done bit to indicate that the timer has completed timing. Uh, it's, it's got to its preset value. Now, if I turn this off, so right now, the fill is on, which is keeping this timer energized, basically, which is why the timer is still showing as enabled. The minute I lose, or if I drop out this fill bit, it all clears and goes back to zero. So the accumulator is back to zero, enable is off, done is off, and timer timing is off. And then if I turn this back on again, the process starts over again. Enable has been energized. The timer timing bit is on. Our accumulator is, is growing. And then there we are, 10 seconds. The done bit is on. Timer timing is off. It clears, happens again. Now, let me scroll down and come to the off delay timer. So in this case, what happens is when I energize so in my logic i have this bit called discharge so that would initiate uh, the discharge from the tank and remember this time we're going to do five seconds for our time delay but when i energize this bit notice that the enable bit turned on but the done bit turned on but the accumulator went back to zero a minute ago it was five thousand but the timer timing is not on. Now, once I drop, okay, so once, you know, we, so it saw a transition to a high, basically to an on. Now, when it transitions back to an off, that's when it starts timing. That is why it's called the off delay. So let me do that one more time. So we see the accumulator is at 5,000. It reached the end of its time. Um, now, when it reached, reached 5,000, um, the, the timer timing bit turned off. And, uh, of course, everything's off right now because we're not energizing the timer any longer. The discharge bit is off. So I'm going to go ahead and transition this back to on one more time. That energizes the timer. The timer enable bit is on. The timer done bit is on. But the timer timing bit is not on. This does not start timing until it sees a transition back to a low or to a zero or off. So we see the done bit is still on. The timer timing is turned on. And then once it reaches 5,000, then everything turned off again. So again, wanted to show that behavior, right? So an on delay works where the enable and timer timing turn on once it gets energized. And then the timer timing turns off and the done turns on. But in a off delay, we have to cycle from low to high to basically energize the timer or enable the timer and then transition it back to off for it to start timing. Now, in both cases, as far as the logic goes, I just went ahead and used the timer timing bit in both cases to control the, the operation of the valve. So 
being that we were going to just open the fill valve for 10 seconds and then shut it back when the 10 seconds were up, I just used the timer timing bit so that in those 10 seconds that it was timing, it was turned on, it opened up the fill valve. And I did the exact same thing down here for the discharge. So when the timer is timing for its five seconds, we'll use that bit, the dot TT bit, and we will discharge the valve for five seconds. Um, so why use one versus the other? It all comes down to applications at times, um, on delay versus off delay. Uh, typically, we see the on delay used probably more commonly, but there are always going to be situations where we might want to see a transition to a high, and then when when we lose that signal, when it goes back off, that's when we want to initiate the timer. So it could be a use case for the off delay timer.